My name is Lauren Axtell, and this is my Great Leader Speech video for Leadership 383. Ronald Reagan was born in Tampico, Illinois on February 6, 1911. According to MillerCenter.org, his parents were Jack Reagan, a shoe salesman, and Nellie Reagan, a seamstress who also gave her time to visiting inmates and the sick in the hospital. After Reagan graduated from Dixon High School, where he was on various sports teams, acting in plays, serving as student council president, and lifeguarding in the summers, he went to Eureka College on a football scholarship. He majored in economics, which would later help him in his position as president. MillerCenter.org says Ronald Reagan became a radio sports announcer in Davenport, Iowa after college. His voice was lively and drew people in. Announcing over the radio was a perfect fit for him and his captivating voice. A job in California led him into his transition to acting. After Pearl Harbor, he went into the military and worked his way up to second lieutenant, according to MillerCenter.org. He married his second wife, Nancy, in 1952. In the 1960s, he became governor of California. Biography.com states, After making unsuccessful bids for the Republican presidential nomination in 1968 and 1976, Reagan finally received his party's nod in 1980, end quote. He won the presidency that year with 489 electoral college votes. He also motivated the tearing down of the Berlin Wall, bringing together Germany once again. I believe each of these various roles allowed Reagan to work with different types of people and learn how to be a leader across multiple areas. He knew there were different ways to get people interested in important causes, motivate people, and lead people. He focused on the positive in the issues of America and sought to bring true change to the country, which people were excited for. He helped get the economy back into good shape and build up our military forces. He also knew how to connect with people and say things in a way that people would want to listen to him. He earned the American people's trust and knew he was not just talking into a camera for another film or TV show. He was talking to real people out there who were willing to follow him and that believed in him. One challenge Reagan faced was not being taken seriously as a politician, given his history in film and acting. Another challenge Reagan overcame was an assassination attempt. According to Biography.com, in 1981, Ronald Reagan was leaving the Washington Hilton Hotel when shots were fired, and it wasn't until a few minutes later in the presidential limousine that his staff realized he had been shot in the chest extremely close to his heart. He quickly overcame this setback and was at work again within a few weeks. Biography.com says Ronald Reagan died on June 5th, 2004 at the age of 93.